Hi everyone and welcome to week 35. I'm in London this week for a big producers conference event that we are hosting at the Ministry of Sound tomorrow, so quite excited for that. And this week what I was going to do is show you how to use the stretch clip to tempo function that was added in Reason 5 and Record 1.5. I'm also going to show you how you can use Record to edit some audio if you wanted to import an entire song into Record, chop up just a section, and use it in your music no matter what the original tempo was. With the stretch clip to tempo function, you can now take any audio or MIDI clip in the sequencer and change its length. You could take a clip and stretch it to be slower by stretching it to the right, or faster by stretching it to the left. To use this function, select the clip that you want to stretch. Now decide what your snap value is over here. I suggest leaving it set to bar to start unless you are stretching something freeform and really don't care about it being right on the beat. Next, you hold down the Alt Option key and click on the clip end handle, or beginning handle, which is right here. And then drag it to the desired bar end. For this audio clip, I know that it is a two bar loop, so I'm going to stretch it to end on bar three. If I wanted it to be half the speed, I would stretch it to end on bar five. This function works for both MIDI clips and audio clips, but remember that audio clips only exist in record and don't exist in reason. For this example, I was using an audio file that came from a sample library where someone had already done the work of trimming the loop to be exactly two bars. But what if I wanted to use stretch clip to tempo on a loop from a song that was not chopped up yet? Here I've loaded in a full song and I want to use just this section right here. Since I do not know what the tempo of the song is, I will need to do a little bit of editing, and I'm going to use record to do it. First I'll turn off the snap so I can slice the clip up with the razor tool. By listening to the file, I know that the start point for my loop is right about here, and the end point is right over here. I'm going to slice the clip a bit earlier than I need, and a bit later than I need. Next, I'll delete the other clips so I only have the region here, and zoom in by using the H key on the QWERTY keyboard. And I'm going to make sure that the playhead pointer is at the beginning of this loop. And now I'm going to mask the start and end of the clip so that I'm right at the start and beginning of my loop. This might take a little bit of practice if you've never edited audio loops before, but keep at it. The more that you do it, the easier it will become. Now to make sure that this is looping correctly, copy the clip and then paste it a few times and listen. You may have to add a small fade in and a fade out on the clip if the edits were not at a zero crossing so you can avoid any clicks or pops. Okay, sounds like we nailed the loop. Now the most important thing. Select the clip and right click, and then select Bounce Clip to New Recording. What this does is remove the audio that was outside of the slices from the clip. If you do not do this and then try to use the Stretch Clip to Tempo feature, the clip will not stretch correctly. If you then want to save some space on your song file, you can use the delete unused recordings function by right clicking on the clip. And it will then delete the audio that you're not using, which in this case is the rest of the song. Now just set the clip start to bar one using the inspector at the top, turn on the snap to bar, and use the stretch clip to tempo function to make it fit in the song. 
And now when we change the tempo of the song, the clip will follow right along with the tempo. You could also use this method for any samples that you recorded using the live sampling feature. When you use import audio file, just select the song sample folder as the source and you will see the list of samples that are contained in this song. Now just import the sample onto its own audio track and stretch away. The stretch clip to tempo function is both easy to use and it's fun for anyone who wants to get in and start editing their own audio files. Also if you don't have a dedicated audio editing software, you see that record could be quite useful for this task as well. Well that's it for another week. Again, I'm James Bernard from Propellerhead Software, and I will see you all next week. Bye.